Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus again, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. I was thinking and I decided that I would share with you why people like small government. You know, you constantly hear people talking about small government and putting down big government. And I know many of you are wondering what's going on. You hear small government, they say it's the greatest stuff. You'll just go along with it. Well, you don't even think about it. Big government, they don't like it. Uh, it must be something negative, and you just go along with that as well. And so you just float. You don't know anything. And you don't know anything because it's designed so that you don't know anything. You have a power structure here that wants to stay in power. And the way to stay in power is to keep you ignorant. And one of the ways to keep you ignorant is to have small government. Small government, what does it represent? Small governments represent the same thing to people that the dark represents to the roaches, that it represents to the mice at night when they're skiing all over your house. Small government is an opportunity for those crooks, the liars, the thieves. They need small government to hide, to make it okay, to lie to you, to deceive you, to create hatred and racism because it works in small government. It takes the uh, power away from what you call the general population and it puts it usually in the hands of that one who's advocating for this small government. And so you should think about things, ladies and gentlemen. Think about everything that usually that God has created as big government. Even the grass that comes up out of the ground, it operates under a government. The trees under a government. The oxygen in the air under a government. The blood that flows through your veins a government. Everything has a government. Peace, there's a government that produces peace. Prosperity, there's a government that produces prosperity. Freedom, there's a government that produces freedom. Joy in life, there's a government that produces that. Your dreams being fulfilled and made real so you can see them and live them, there's a government. Now, if government is everything, you might say that's big government, or no government because people have learned the real practices of life and they don't they operate within a government that needs not to be advocated or uh, uh, yelled out on a frog horn it's just natural innate thing so what am i saying this for because this government in the united states of america i don't know how in the world we pulled it off it must be a lie. When you start comparing it with the world, it must be a lie. They keep saying that this is the greatest nation on the face of the earth. And what people have to go through in America, what black people and people of color have always gone through in America, how in the world could this be a nation that's so ranked high above other nations? I mean, they must absolutely be pathetic because ours is. Do you see what they're doing now? The Supreme Court, they say they operate under the law, but the people have set up so they could politicalize the Supreme Court. The people say, we want certain actions. We want to see certain things. This is the decision of a democratic process. The people say we want it. And then there are those who don't want it. But they got something else that other folks do want, and they call it money. And it usually allows you to buy people who will speak for you. It usually allows you to buy what? Especially in small government. Politicians. Lobbyists. And the next thing you know, what the people have wanted have now been changed to what a small group wanted. And what is the rule? The rule is the law. And yet, those who swore to uphold the law in your behalf has just violated the law to oppress you and now ready to turn around and prosecute you if you do exactly what they did. That is as low down, dirty, stinking stuff you can find anywhere. I mean, it can't even get any dirtier in, than that in hell. And do Santa's. Won't ask an American people to put him in power so he can have the government, the whole government in his hands to abuse anyone that he chooses to 
and you're living in a country where people are thinking that that's okay. How in the heaven did we reduce ourselves to this depth of hell? And the American people seem to have lost their minds considering this. How in the stinking hell can Donald Trump be ranking so high amongst the Republican people when it comes down to his striving to be president of the United States? The only way he could do it is because he got the support of the same kind of demons that he is. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not saying that you are a demon. I say he got the same kind of support. And if that support comes from you, then it makes it seem like when Elijah Muhammad says you were devils, he was speaking from your actions. And ladies and gentlemen, it appears that your actions have not changed. Your actions have not changed because you can bet your last money that the government that produces peace has no home here because you're not thinking about peace. That's why you can't get rid of your guns because you're thinking about nothing but war. You know what? Prosperity for all, freedom here in America, there, where is that? Who's thinking about that? Who's thinking about that? Every time Donald Trump and his minions open their mouths, they're trying to say something nasty about anybody that's not true. And they're just, every time they open their mouth, everybody's saying it. And yet, people sit there and look at that stuff. They know it's not true. But in time, you know what the greatest benefit and curse that ever came to mankind? Is when he got in a situation when he didn't know what to do. And he knew that if he admitted it, and told it just like it was, it might cause some discomfort. But something said, try to tell a lie. Just think of a lie. And he thought of a lie. And he told a lie. And the person that told a lie to was vulnerable. Didn't think anyone would be lying. But the guy told a lie and got away with it. And they've been lying ever since. Lying ever since. But you're not getting away with it. Because you got poverty. You got crime. You got violence. You got hatred. You got racism. You got destruction all over the land. Your cities are rotting. And it looks like nature is coming at you. But nature isn't. Nature's just doing what nature does. And we the people are not prepared. Because we're living in a demo demonic state of life. Well, I say this just to kind of make you angry, piss you off, kind of touch you, but mostly to make you think there can be a better way. If you think about it, it might come to you. Or if you think about it and it doesn't come to you directly, you know, through you, it might come to you through someone else. But you got to change for anything to happen. And change means doing things different, pursuing things different, looking for different outcomes, okay? Talk to you later.